see the play by play here as we go live. Okay, I'm hitting live now on Amazon. I'm going to play our internal countdown. I'm Jasmine Moyer and welcome to Sway TV. I'm so excited to get started today. We're gonna have some fun on the street and we're doing Workout Wednesdays here on Amazon Live. And she is fresh off the set of Shark Tank. It's such an honor to be here today, so thank you. We are gonna be talking all about parenting. This is our tribe of women. What is the key to a successful business? And it's Brad Grunberg. Hi, Brad. This is a game changer. Thank God you are on this show. There's a Tesla. You can actually buy a car on Amazon. That is so crazy. The perfect gift. Yes, we got our Drake's cake break. So awesome. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your zoo light. This is fun. Here we go. I'm so excited. I can't even stand it. That was very dramatic. Oh, Naveen says this is better than Netflix. So happy new year 2021. Let's bring it in with a bang. Two, one. for you guys and for Sway TV. I've had such a great time with all of you. We'll see you soon. Until then, let's sway. 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 Hello, everybody. Welcome to Sway TV. I am your new host, Kimmy Seltzer. I am so excited to be here on Amazon Live. And I am bringing to you my new show, Kimmy's Love Hub, where we are going to talk about everything from dating to relationships, relating, possibly mating, anything that relates to love. And it really starts with you because when you love you, that's when other people will too. So welcome, welcome. This is my first time and I know a lot of you on here. Oh my gosh, I see so many of you that I know. Thank you so much for chiming in. Stephanie, oh my gosh. John, oh my gosh, it's so good to see you. And Emilio and Suzanne and Nancy. Oh my gosh, Sharon. Oh, I love that you are here and I feel you with me. <laughs> and, and this, you know, really, this show is, although I'm the host, the hostess with the mostess, this show is only as good as you are. So I, I want you interacting. That's the thing. I'm going to be learning this whole platform with you. Um, so here's the thing that's really important. I know I told a lot of you who know that I was on here, but for those of you who don't know me, make sure that you click the follow button. Now there's two ways you can, you can do that. Number one is you, if you're on just a regular laptop, you'll see a follow button, you click it. And if you are on the mobile, just click the video and it'll, it'll pop up. And make sure you go to swaytvlive.com and that's where you can find me and find the show every single week where I'm going to be talking about dating, relating, mating, and anything that has to do with love, which I love, by the way, because we are about to like approach this holiday that you might have heard of it called Valentine's Day, which is all about love. And that's what the topic is today. I want to start out by talking about how to look and feel red hot, red hot sexy for Valentine's Day. Because, you know, and this is going to be my message that has been strung throughout 
no matter what week and what hour that I talk to all of you on, you're going to hear that so much of attracting love has to do with when you love you, when you find yourself sexy, when you look in the mirror and you find yourself beautiful. That is why I'm so excited to have, I mean, what better platform for me to be on to talk to you about dating advice, relationships, and beauty. Hello, like this is this is like a dream for me. And so yes, I'll be sharing some products with you, things that I've used that I want to also share with you because I believe in them, but also to help you really feel and look your best. And oh my gosh, we have so many people here. Oh, Leah and Corey, oh my gosh. So I can't get sound, someone can't get sound. But yeah, un unmute yourself. <laughs> Or unmute me. I don't like being mute. And you'll see, like, I'm going to be sitting here talking for an hour and a half. So you got to give me some energy, everybody. Like, the more I see you interacting, the better, because I can sit here and be a talking head forever. And believe me, I will. But it's so much more fun when you're interacting with me. And so, yes, I want to hear your dating questions, your beauty questions. This is all about love. And again, the message has to do with celebrating you. I mean, this is really what I want to share with you today on is that this is a celebration, not, not just about people in your life. And of course, you want to celebrate people in your life. And I want to actually start here, and I'm going to introduce myself and who the heck am I and why the heck you'd want to even listen to me. <laughs> but um, first of all, those of you who do know me, say hello. Oh, Hannah, I know Hannah, and I, I know Sharon and Nancy and Brianna. Oh, my God, this is so, so exciting. I feel like, um, oh, my gosh, what was that show? Romper Room. Do you guys remember Romper Room? I see... I see Hannah, I see Nancy, I'm aging myself. Um, but anyway, this is really amazing to, to have this kind of uh, platform to really share with you all these tips, all these things that I've been doing for many, many years right here in one show that um, hopefully we will all have fun with. And so, yeah, so a lot of you know me, but those of you who don't know me, you're like, who is this lady and why does she know all these people? Um, I am a confidence therapist. I'm an authentic dating strategist and I'm an image consultant. Yeah, that's a mouthful, but really what that means at the end of the day. I've been around the corner. I've been around the block. I've been doing this for a very long time. My career has done a lot of twists and turns. And what I found that when when you have a holistic approach in helping people, that is what gets results. You know, I practiced as a therapist for many, many, many years, and I used to work from the inside out, believing that you had to do all this like inner work in order to create change. And believe me, I do believe in inside work, and we're gonna talk a lot about the inside work. But for me, what was missing was the action piece, was the outside. And what we portray on the outside, the way we market ourselves, and that has to do with our first impressions, it has to do with our body language, it has to do with the way we dress, the colors we wear, all of it sends a message out to the world and also has a direct impact on how we feel inside. So there's a symbiotic relationship between the outer and the inner when it comes to our confidence, because this is really what we're talking about. We're talking about building confidence. We're talking about building connection. And that's what creates love. So I have a different philosophy. I actually work from the outside in. I flip the script. I know that sounds a little superficial, but hear me out. And you're going to hear me talk a lot about feeling and looking beautiful on the outside. If you're a man looking handsome, um, I'm sorry, men, I do have a lot of uh, tips for women today, but that's okay. That's okay. You want to know why? Because you're going to have the inside scoop of what makes a woman tick, what makes a woman feel hot, what makes a woman feel sexy, because that's that's what you want to do like we want to be cherished and loved at the end of the day as women and men want to to cherish you right as a woman so these tips are both for men and women and don't don't worry men i got you covered i probably will do a whole man over show would you would you like to see that if you're a man 
would you like to see a man over show where I do like makeovers on men? Because I feel like this is a topic that highly gets overlooked. And I don't think men sit around on a Sunday afternoon, especially during um, you know the Super Bowl and talking about fashion and the latest trends. Maybe some of you do, and that's awesome. <laughs> As a woman, I would love to be around you if you're a man that does that, but most likely you might not be. And did you know that women love a well-dressed man? So I am not leaving you out. And you'll hear a lot of stories today where I will talk about women, but I, it, for it's just as many women that I work with, I work with men as well. So I, I'm all inclusive, all right? So let's get to it. Oh, yes. Okay, so another really important thing about this beautiful platform, Sway TV and Amazon Live, is that you will have, a, have an opportunity to win things. I mean, how cool is that? You know, I... For so long, for all these years, I've been going live I, you know, through social media platforms, but I've never been able to have giveaways and give you guys stuff. So this is like, this is a dream come true for me, I'm not gonna lie, that I can give you beauty tips and also give you a chance to win some things for you. So at the end of this show, I am doing a giveaway for a $100 gift certificate on Amazon. How cool is that? I mean, who couldn't use a hundred dollar gift certificate to Amazon? Can I just, I just, I gotta plug Amazon for a second. I am obsessed with you. For all you like big brothers watching <laughs> from Amazon, I don't know who, who it is, but I, I love Amazon and especially during the pandemic, you have been a godsend. And I've learned so much. I can't believe how many products, like you can buy everything, including the kitchen sink on, on Amazon. In fact, I just, I can't believe it. I just ordered, I, my ice maker broke and I ordered a new part for my ice maker. How, like, I, I, who knew, right? But you have everything from that to like high fashion, like amazing brands are on here. And I'm gonna show some of those later on today. I'm not gonna lie, I have some of them on and, and I wanna like kind of show that off. So yes, that is gonna be the giveaway today. And in order to do that, you have to click the follow button. And when you click the follow button, that means not only can you chat with me, or you can go to swaytvfollow.com. Not only can you follow me, you will also be entered in the giveaway. And, and to double your pleasure, after I am through with all of this, they're doing a huge giveaway for a PS5. So I don't know if my sons are listening. I, you know, I have teenage sons and to get them to, to see their mom on <laughs> this thing, you know, I, I, I had to bribe them. I said, hey guys, like you could win a PS5 even though they had one. They were the ones that like were the first to get it in, in their drawings, but who couldn't use another PS5? Anyway, that's gonna be at five o'clock Pacific time. So when you enter the giveaway with me, you're also entering the giveaway to that. So it's double your pleasure. And that's, that's how we roll here at Sway TV. So let's get started. Who is on here? Oh my gosh, there are so many people. Amazing. Oh, Nancy says an emotional makeover. Yes. Well, here's the thing. And I'm, and I'm going to talk about my philosophy and the foundation of which I work. Um, you know, at the end of the day, as I talked about before, it's all about confidence. It's all about you because when you love you, that's what other people do too. And it's funny because a lot of times people will come to me and they say, Kim, find me my soulmate, find me a man, find me a woman. And I say, great. And I am happy to do that. And I usually do do that. And those of you who are working with me, you know that to be true. But at the end of the day, you know what they all say? They say, Kim, it's, it's great that, you know, I found a way, a pathway to love. But the most important thing that I have found during the process is that I love me. And it's, it's so powerful. It's so powerful when you don't need that external validation. And that's what I think Valentine's Day is all about. Because when you have your picture 
filled with water, when you have your pitcher filled with water, and I'm gonna take a sip right now because I'm already thirsty. It's 75 degrees here in, in Los Angeles. I ain't complaining, believe me, I'm, I'm from Chicago. You're gonna hear my story too, by the way. I'm from Chicago, so I, I'm, I'm blessed. And family in Chicago, I'm so sorry, and I, I can't wait for the day till you get on the plane and visit me, so cheers. Okay, so where were we? When it comes to, Nancy was talking about an emotional makeover, and I really believe that so much of the makeover process, even though I work from the outside in, has to do with how we, how we feel. So I actually have slides that I'm gonna share with you later on some of the makeovers that I have done that you can see the difference. And when you see the difference, it's not just in their clothes, it's in their attitude. And when you have a different attitude, you have a different energy, that's so highly attractive. So I wanna take a temperature in, in this like Sway TV room, just so I know who's here. How many people here are single? Let me see, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, or single men, who are, who are say, oh, Ashanti, I need a total makeover. What do I start with? I got you, girl. And I have actually a lot of tips for you because I'm going to do like a quick mini makeover in front of you all for Valentine's Day. And I have some products, amazing products that I am going to share with you that you can buy right here on Amazon to get started. Oh my gosh. So we have a lot of single ladies here. And I know some of you single ladies. And, and the ones that I am working with are on their way to the pathway to love. But I think, you know, what a lot of my clients are saying, you know, I'm just having so much fun dating, not getting attached to the outcome. How many of you who are single get attached to the outcome? Get it to, you get so attached to, I got to have a boyfriend. Oh my God, it's Valentine's Day around the corner. I've got to have that boyfriend. And how many of you go into dating, like you're swiping on Bumble, you're swiping, swiping your life away, you're numbing out, you're trying to find that person, and you're not even connecting. You're not even connecting. And that's the worst place to be because you're so busy worried about the outcome, getting that boyfriend. But what if you took this opportunity, and even if it's just this hour and a half-ish that I'm with you right now, what if you took this time to just be a little selfish and be present and just work on you and just work on you because that is that that's what this is all about this is what it's all about oh yeah hannah's single but already mingling yeah she knows the drill because Hannah is one of those beautiful people in my tribe. And by the way, if you're interested in being in my tribe, of course, I, I can be found all over the place, by the way, people. <laughs> I'm just, if you pretty much look at Kimmy Seltzer and just do an at Kimmy Seltzer, that's my social media handle everywhere on Instagram, on Facebook. I have an amazing Facebook group called the Love Makeover Insiders. So if you want to continue this train, I do a lot of fun stuff in there as well. Um, but yeah, so, okay. So we have a lot of single people. How many people, okay, so Nicole just asked, do I only work with single people? Absolutely not. And I'm happy to say that a lot of times my clients get into a relationship and then they're in the second phase of the whole dating continuum. You know, we have the courtship first and then they move into relationships and then they're like, okay, I caught him, now what? <laughs> or I caught her, now what? Right, and so, Oh, Sharon, thank you for posting that. Yeah, so um, I want to know how many, how many people are married? Any married folks? I love married folks. We can, we single people, I'm single too, by the way. How many single people can learn from uh, you married folks? <laughs> and I love if you're married that you're here, so say hello. And also, like, or how many people are dating somebody? I'd love to see if there's any people who are dating anybody, anybody special in their lives. Yeah. Oh, Nicole's married. Yay. So maybe I will have you come on and give um, the single ladies some tips. And, you know, really, I've been doing a, a lot of podcasts lately. By the way, I have my own podcast, too. It's called The Charisma Quotient. And I will talk about The Charisma Quotient in a bit because it, it relates to what we're going to talk about. 
the the thing that's so interesting about you know the it's always like the grass is always greener right because my my single people want so badly to be in that relationship and then they're in the relationship and they're like hmm remember when i was single and so there's this like grass is always greener kind of effect and so i get a lot of married folks that i'm working with and they're saying kim can you help me date my partner again you know like get that spark back and i've done whole talks on that that's why I am, I'm, I'm in love with this whole topic of love as we approach Valentine's Day, because what I really wanna focus on is feeling and looking your best, feeling red hot for Valentine's Day, so that no matter where you are in the continuum, whether you're single, whether you're dating, whether you're just having fun, just being by yourself, and you are just pampering yourself, that is all okay because what I'm sharing with you today is you, I hope you walk away just feeling good. That, that's my hope because let's face it, who couldn't use a little like feel good right now? We have been, whew, we've been in such a roller coaster this year, right? And, and in a very um, dark place, I, I will say in, in many ways. And that's why I wanted to incorporate red, saying like, you know, when we think about Valentine's Day, we think about red, we think about pink, because I want to infuse some color, some color into your life. And it could be from a lipstick that I'm going to recommend. It could be from the top and the dress that you wear. You notice how I am wearing red, of course. I'm on brand, on point. And, and red's a powerful color. I mean, think about it. There's actually associations with color. Color is fierce. Color is powerful. Color is love. Color is brightness. And, and red speaks to so much of that, you know, fiery energy that I just want to, like, really highlight and bring to you today. Even if you are in Chicago, in the Midwest, where I hear it is god-awful cold. <laughs> Oh, Stevie, you're single and not dating. And are you okay with that? Like, let me know. You know, there are times in your life where you're single and you're just so happy not dating. It really is about, and, and the clients that I work with, they know the drill. I always tell people to write a mission statement, you know, like a business mission statement. I, I have them write out a dating mission statement. The reason why that's so important is it really grounds you and helps you understand what it is that you want. I can't tell you how many times I will get on the phone with somebody. And by the way, if anyone wants to hop on a call, I, I offer these free breakthrough calls. and They're really powerful. Any, anytime I hop on a call and I ask people, what do you want? I'd say eight times out of 10, people can't answer that question. Or they'll double talk. They'll say they want one thing, yet they also fear it. And that's the tug of war, right? Like, Maybe you want a partner, but you also fear getting hurt. And so, like, how do you deal with that? So, so with that, let's, let's talk about this theme about red and, and getting into it because I just got through telling you, you know, what I do. So, yes, I'm a therapist, and yes, I've been trained as a dating coach, and yes, I'm an image consultant, and I have all this, like, professional background and yada, yada, yada. I mean, you can read that in my bio, and that's all fine and dandy, but honestly, the reason why I got into doing what I do and why I'm so passionate about doing this and why I'm so stoked to be here to just spread my message, spread the love to everyone is because I went through my own transformation. You know, um, I always say that we are our own best teachers every single time and it's usually the adversity that we go through that ends us being the gift in disguise. And it's not until we look back and we say, oh, oh yeah, that actually was a good thing that happened. Now, as you're going through it, it stinks. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like I was in a really, really dark place before, but when you get through it, it's an amazing thing. And I, and I wanna share some of my journey with you so that you know where I've been, so that you know that you're not alone and I've got you. Like, this is the perfect place and platform to just have a conversation with all of you. And, and I, I want you to join me in this. Again, 
this is super important that you're interacting with me because again, like I get really lonely just sitting here talking into a circle and not getting any interaction. So are you with me? Say, you know, hashtag Sway TV if you're with me. I, I just wanna know you're still there and not just like scrolling on social media and, and not really paying attention because I, I, know, I know how that goes. Okay, drink, pause. Oh my gosh, we have so many amazing people on. I, okay, so I don't know how many of you know me already or are just joining randomly, like who is this lady, but I just thank you. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for, you know, for just being here. Oh, Sweet TV, Sweet TV. Yes, awesome, awesome. Okay, you are with me now, and, and maybe I just made you <laughs> come with me. Okay, so... I want to I want to share a little story. I hope you guys like stories. I talk in stories. I feel like that's how we learn in stories. And then I'll kind of get into the fun stuff and how you all get a little love makeover today. Um, yeah. So I I had a red dress moment. This is where it all started, and it's so perfect as we head into Valentine's Day to talk about this. And my red dress moment changed the entire course of not just, you know, my love life, but my entire career and really my identity, to be quite honest. So rewinding time, I, you know, back in the day in a land far, far away, I lived in a place called Chicago. And anyone from any of my family here, by the way, from Chicago, <laughs> you know, you know me way back when. Um, yeah, so back in Chicago, I lived a very traditional life. And what I mean by that, I had a traditional job. I practiced as a therapist for over 10 years. I had the traditional house with the traditional picket fence and the traditional dog and kids and husband. I, I, I still have the kids. I don't have the husband any longer, but you know where the story is going. So, but here we were. So I had this and, and honestly, back then, to, I really thought that that was going to be my life. I, I did. I thought that that was my trajectory. I was kind of going down the yellow brick road thinking, okay, this is my life. Well, we all pick up, and we had an opportunity to move here to La La Land. And we land here, and we do what all the other people here do, and that is we get a divorce. I'm joking, obviously. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot of people who are divorced here, but there's divorce everywhere. Who am I kidding? And there's, and there's a lot of people married here as well, but it's just a joke because we get a bad rap here. Uh, but here, here's the thing. I, I land here. We get a divorce. Obviously, there were issues, right? But most importantly, everything that I knew, everything in my soul, my confidence that was like super high, completely like shot down here in an instant. It was like the record stopped. And so did my life. And I quite honestly didn't know what I was gonna do with this new life. I really didn't. I thought that, okay, maybe, maybe I will just like hang out here in my bed for a while <laughs> and just get really cozy and not see the world. And, and I did, quite honestly I did. And it was a very dark place. And with that, I had the clothes to match it. So here I am, just envision this, this really like sad, frumpy mama. I had two young kids. I had these ginormous black clothes on. I even had the nursing bras still on. Okay, mind you, I was not nursing any longer, but you see where I was stuck, stuck in my clothes, stuck in my mindset. And I didn't know how I was gonna get out of my own way. I really didn't. And I knew I was getting in my way. I was the only one. But I couldn't understand why I couldn't get past it. Because here's the thing. People, I did the work. Like, I went to therapy. I went to counseling. I had a great support system. I wrapped myself around all my friends. And they were really super supportive. I had done the inside work. And here I am, a therapist, for God's sakes. I should, <laughs> I should know better, right? But I still, I was still stuck. And... You know, when there's a fork in the road and you could go one way or you could go the other way. Well, I was heading down the way of a very dark, lonely path. And just as I was about to give up, I will never forget this moment. 
and and please share if you had oh staff you are from illinois i know that so you we know the the whole midwest thing um i remember look, getting up and looking in the mirror and hating what i saw i mean I, I tr actually tried to find a picture of myself to show y'all. I was going to throw myself under the bus and show. But I just to age me, I, we didn't have iPhones back then. So all my pictures are in the garage somewhere, like, stuck in, in storage. So I don't have them to show. But you get the picture that I had this just kind of frumpy mom attitude. And I thought, ugh, who could love me? I don't even love myself. And when I looked in the mirror... I decided, you know, I'm fed up. I'm fed up. I am sick of looking this way. I'm sick of feeling this way. So what does a girl do when she's fed up and nothing fits her? She goes shopping, <laughs> shopping therapy. And at the time I thought, you know, oh, you know, I'll just go shopping and I'll up level myself. I'll get some new clothes. So here I, here I am. I go to the store and I, what am I doing? I'm picking all the same clothes again. I kid you not. So I am grabbing all these black clothes that were like three sizes too big on me. But I think I'm up leveling myself. I think I think, oh, yeah, I'm doing well. I'm getting new clothes. But no, they, it wasn't serving me. It was not going to fit my body. But I was comfortable. How many of you are just comfortable being in your like cocoon, being in your black clothes, being in your ginormous clothes, being in your COVID clothes, <laughs> right? I hope to get some of you out of the COVID clothes today when I share some products with you. Yeah. How many of you in COVID clothes? I'm not going to lie. I was really excited to come to the studio because it gave me reason and a purpose to do my hair, put some makeup on. Yeah. So here I am back in the story in my clothes with the arms fold with black clothes and I'm about to purchase and try on and, and I thought, okay, well now I'll be happy. Well, this personal shopper, she comes up to me and she says, Kim, I've been watching, no, she didn't know my name. <laughs> she said, ma'am, not Kim, ma'am, I've been watching you. And I, I was really wondering if you could try on this. And she holds up this little red dress. And actually, I have a red dress to share with you later on. Um, she holds up this little red dress. And she said, I think you'd look really great in it. And I said, I crinkled my nose. I said, that's so sweet of you. But that's really not my size. And that is so not my color. And she said, honey, that is your color. That is your size. Try it on. Bam. It was like she hit me over the head with that dress. That was my red dress moment. Yeah, so I am thinking, wow. You know when there's things that or messages that come through in your life and sometimes you can hear it and sometimes you can't? Well, in that moment, it was like she had a megaphone in my ear. Try it on. <laughs> and so I, I tried it on. And I remember I squeezed into it and I twirled around like Cinderella. And I looked in the mirror and I was like, bam. I'm a princess. Like, I couldn't believe what I saw. And, you know, before me, I saw this, this woman who was happy. I saw a woman in red who was vibrant and fierce and full of like love. And I'm sure I, I, I looked like that at some point before my divorce and before I was in this really dark place. But I really saw myself in that moment. And I decided to get that red dress because even though I didn't really believe it, I'm like, you know, maybe this red dress will help me come into my own, that'll help me get out of my own way, to help me be seen. Because I'm gonna be honest, I don't wanna be seen. How many of you, especially now during the pandemic, pandemic are getting almost like too cozy and too comfortable not being seen? Like we have to push ourselves and that's what I had to do with that red dress. I had to push myself to buy that red dress, to walk out into the world and get used to being seen. Hashtag, I want to be seen. Hashtag, I want to be seen if that is you. Because I want you to be seen. No longer do I want you hiding. 
you know, hiding in that mindset, in that, in that mindset of scarcity or sadness. Because what happened to me is after I walked out into the world with this red dress, I said to myself, oh my gosh, I am, I am being seen, not only that, I am, I'm being seen by men. <laughs> I am being seen by men for the first time, and maybe men noticed me before, but I didn't notice them. That was the difference. I did not notice them. How many of you walk around in life with blinders on because you're worried about even meeting somebody's eyes and seeing the world? Because then if you meet someone's eyes, you might have to say hello. And oh my gosh, they might see you. Well, I, I recognized and realized in, the, in those moments where I, I practiced wearing my red dress out and about that the black clothes that I had before was my cloak. It was my black cloak to keep me invisible, to keep me invisible from the world because I was scared of you aliens. You know, the aliens called AKA men. <laughs> I was scared of you. I didn't know how to talk to you. I didn't know how to flirt with you. I didn't think I was like worthy of you. I just thought I was this frumpy mom, not deserving of love. So, that was my red dress moment and in in those moments and believe me there's a lot of other stories and when you come back to the show and in people in my tribe know this i love telling stories about my journey because i want to help you i feel like they're all lessons that we all can learn from i know i want to hear from you i want to hear from your stories dm me um, at Kimmy Seltzer, I want to hear some of your stories. Or if you're needing help and you want me to share some things that, that will help you later on, I am all for it because it does take a village. It takes a tribe. That's why what I'm building here on Sway TV. I want to build a tribe. I want to I want to build a place where we can all talk about this stuff because I know we're all dealing with it, but no one's talking about it. So that's why I'm starting with my story. I've been there, I've done that, I've, and, and I continue to, to do it. You know, it, 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 it's a long road, but it can be a rewarding road when you see it that way. So that's what clicked for me, is that in that moment when I had the red dress on, I'm like, yeah, this is, this is awesome. And I started having fun with it. And I realized there was a symbiotic relationship between the outer and the inner when it comes to confidence. And really, that's where, that's where everything started happening. That's where my life changed. And it, it was the crust of my business to work from the outside in. I no longer work from the inside out. I work from the outside in because I saw it was the quickest gateway into confidence. It gave me evidence of, hey, when I put something on, I feel different. And when I feel different, I radiate outwards. And when I radiate outwards, I attract something in. And that is where the charisma quotient is born. <laughs> so yeah, the charisma quotient, it's my podcast. You can find it all over the place on Spotify and iTunes, blah, blah, blah. But, but it is the foundation in which I work. And so Every show here at Sway TV, I am going to embed my messages of the foundation of the Charisma Quotient with the tips that I'm going to give you here. So what is the Charisma Quotient? First of all, I want to like look up and see some of your questions. Oh, you guys are interacting. I love, I love all these questions that you're having. Oh, yeah. Karen is looking at red dresses right now because I have none. Oh, Karen, I got actually a red dress for you, so don't worry. Stay tuned. And, you know, it's really important to know what your body type is before you buy that red dress. And I will share with you some tips around that before you push click and buy now. I want you to learn what your body type is. And there, that's the most frustrating thing, right? When you're trying to find something that, that maybe looks good on the mannequin or maybe looks good in the model, maybe looks good on the page, but you don't know what looks good on you. And so I wanna teach you that. Um, so what else do we have? We have, I wanna be seen. Aliens can be scary, <laughs> Stephanie. I know the aliens were really, really scary, but you know what I learned? That it was all in my head. 
It was all in my head. I had nothing to fear but fear itself. And it was, it was something that I fabricated and something that I created because I didn't think I was worthy. I didn't know that a guy could love me for being a single mom with two young kids in this frumpy state. But that was my story. So here's, here's the thing. If you don't like your story, if you're sick of your story or you're stuck in a story that's being played over and over and over and over again, like Groundhog's Day, you guys know that movie, Groundhog's Day? Like you wake up, it's the same story every day. You wake up, well, okay, let's face it, in the pandemic, <laughs> it is the same story every day. I am so grateful to be here in the studio at Sway TV to, uh, thank you, Andy, for having me get, allowing me to dress up and show up because I, I couldn't wait for that. Um, you know, here's the thing, because when you create a new reality for yourself and you're sick of being in your story, you, you have to flip the script. You have to flip the script. And in order to flip that script, you have to go back to the beginning of that story. Otherwise, the same story is going to play out. Those of you who work with me, you know this to be true. Like, I want to see your messaging. I want to see how you're putting yourself out there. I'm going to share a lot of stories on here of like dating makeovers where you're going to see people's, people's stories changed from the minute they changed their clothes to the way that their body language was, to the way their first impressions were, to the way they were flirting. Yeah, I think I, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling a need to do a whole show on flirting. It's a big part of my business. I just got through with a flirt challenge in my Facebook group. How many of you were at my flirt challenge? I want to see who was flirting and, and what you got out of it. Should I do, should I do a flirt show? I think, I think we should. Maybe I should bring a guy or maybe, you know, I can interview people too. So if you have any ideas of what you want me to do and what you want me to share, please give me some ideas because, again, I want to create this show with you and for you not just by myself. That's super lonely. So the more you interact, the more fun we're going to have. Oh, Sharon says, yes, the flirt challenge was amazing. Yes. Oh, oh, Leah, you were there too. I didn't know that. Do a live dating show. Yeah. So that is super cool. I, I actually was talking to the producer, Andy, about that. Like, I think, I think it's endless. Like we can bring people on. I can coach people maybe live. I do that on my podcast on the Charisma Quotient. And so, yeah, I think there is a lot of potential here and, and a lot of fun. Speaking of fun, so I have a lot of, I have a lot of products amongst me. You can't, you can't see it. And so I'm going to share some products periodically. And just so you know, just to kind of reset the room here in Sway TV, <laughs> as they say, if you want to chat with me, if you want to also enter the giveaway, and by the way, the giveaway is going to be at the end of this chat, so you have to like weather the storm and listen to me talk for another hour, or how, how much longer do we have? Gosh, this is going by so fast. Wait, we only have 45 more minutes? That's crazy. Yeah, I, I'm a talker. So, um, at the end, I'm going to draw names. Um, we have been writing down names as you guys have been clicking the follow button. If you don't see the button, if you're in the mobile, you got to actually click the uh, video that you see and the follow button will pop up. And once you do, oh, hello, hello, hello. I see some new people coming in. Oh, Corey, you love the, I loved hearing from the men on your flirt challenge, right? There's nothing like hearing from the horse's mouth, because I can talk to y'all till the cows come home, ladies, about what men really like, what men really think are sexy, but there's nothing like the real thing when they come on. So that's why I'm feeling the need to bring some men onto the show. I think we need a like he said, she said kind of perspective when we're talking about some of this stuff. But yeah, so click the follow button so that you can interact with me. And also we will enter your name in the giveaway. Not only do you have the potential to win the contest and, and for me, you could win a hundred dollar gift certificate on Amazon. But if you stay five o'clock right after me, Pacific time, you have a chance to win a PS5. So if anyone has teenagers, like I have two teenage boys and they're obsessed with their PS5, you too can win a PS5 just by entering right now. 
So it's double your pleasure here at Kimmy's Love Hub. You are tuning into Kimmy's Love Hub if you're just joining us. Hello, welcome. We're at SwayTVLive.com. I am just, I'm so excited to be here. And I have all these products around me that are just staring at me and I'm, I'm building suspense. Do you know, do you notice this? <laughs> They're like, what is she gonna show me? You know, I, I do, oh, hi, Kelly. Oh, you, you got it, it popped up, awesome. So I, um, if you are new to this, it, you know, you will see, a, I think it's above me, I'm seeing it above me, there's a carousel. And in the carousel, there's a bunch of products that I recommend. I'm always going to talk about books as well because it's super important to not only get the stuff from the outside but also the, the knowledge. I'm also working on a book, just saying, so maybe one day I'll plug my own book. Um, but I, I love sharing the knowledge um, of other people. I, I love recommending things that can just better your lives both inside and out. And so we are going to have a lot of fun. I do want to talk about the Charisma Quotient, getting back to that, because the three ingredients that I'm going to share with you about the Charisma Quotient is super important to understand because everything that I'm going to do here on the show, everything that's on my podcast, The Charisma Quotient, everything that will eventually be, you know, just in, in all the stuff that you'll see about me, you will see it embedded in all my messaging. So what are the three ingredients to the Charisma Quotient? Drum roll. The first is your style intelligence. Now, what I mean by that is I like to raise people's style intelligence. You heard my story. And by the way, if you're just tuning in and you missed the beginning, I told a juicy story about myself so that you understand like who the heck am I, not just professionally, but personally. I want, I want you to really you know, know this stuff. And because when I was sharing my story, my life changed when I worked on my marketing, when I worked on this outside stuff. And what better way to demonstrate some of that is here on Amazon Live because I can, I can show products of things that can help all of you love you right here and now, just in time for Valentine's Day. So whether you're single, whether you're coupled off, whether you're dating, it doesn't matter. This, I, I just, I want you feeling good. I want you infusing more color and red into your life. So there's a lot of red things and items that I'm gonna show you. But the first one is raising your style intelligence and it has to do with all of that of, that I just said. It's, it's your body language, it's your wardrobe, it's how you present, it's your first impressions. It's the first thing that people see. It is so important. Because here's the thing, and this, is, this message is so important. I want you to hear this. And if you're going to write down anything, I don't even know if you're taking notes, but I hope you are. This isn't about changing who you are. It is about marketing yourself so that a person gets to know who you are. Let me say that again. This is not about changing who you are. All these products and all these beautiful things and tips that I'm sharing with you isn't changing you as a person, but it's marketing yourself so somebody stops and says hello. So somebody stops and says, wow, I want to know you. I mean, how different would it be if I got on here and I didn't market myself in the way that I, I want you to be? Right, I'm not gonna lie, um, I almost had, so I toyed with this because I, I asked Andy, who is the producer here, I said, you know, should I get my hair and makeup done? Because I, I really, like it's important to show everything about, you know, who I am and I am marketing image. And he said, no, I got you. You know, you come as you and do your makeup as you normally do. And, you know, I thought to myself, yeah, he's right, because that's what I teach people. You know, it's not about, you know, changing drastically your whole look, but it's bringing out the best in you. And that's what, like, products can do. So, yes, I have makeup on, but if I didn't have makeup on, you would have a different, you know, you would have a different impression of me. Let, let's be real. I will never forget. I was doing a, um, and some of you know this. I was, I was doing it. I do a lot of speaking, by the way. And I was doing this presentation, 
in front of like hundreds of women for this VIP lunch. And I decided to dress up in my mommy, my frumpy mommy clothes, okay? I know, I know, I, <laughs> I think about this time. And I didn't even have those clothes anymore. So I, mom, if you're here, I know, I, I had to ask my mom, I'm like, mom, can I borrow some bigger clothes? Because I don't have any clothes anymore. And so I dress, I, I put these clothes on and I, I purposely picked out colors that didn't flatter me. And, and we found some in my old home that I had because I didn't have any here in California. So I, I put them on, I go up on stage, and you should see the looks on everybody's faces. Everyone's like looking around and they're like whispering and they're, they're saying, oh my gosh, like who is that? I mean, I looked, I looked really, really tired and frumpy. I had no makeup on. I had Birkenstocks on. <laughs> and then to match, I had the body language. So I'm like, I'm slouching over and I'm like shuffling, you know, on stage. So I start telling my story as I did with all of you. And as I'm sharing my story, what happens? But <laughs> this, people start like whispering and talking like they're, they, they were so confused. They're like, wait, she's up here talking about image and she's going to talk about styles and makeovers. And she looks like crap. Like I could just I could tell that everybody was thinking that. So as I was talking and telling my story, I started stripping. And underneath those big clothes, I had this really cute dress on. And then I started putting earrings on. And then I started putting my makeup on. And then I was fluffing my hair. And then I put my heels on. And like all these people, their, their jaws dropped. And at the end, they got it. They got the message and what I was saying, because I was talking about first impressions and how super important they are. Because a lot of times when people are dating, I hear this all the time. And I don't know if any of you thought this is like, you know, if a man doesn't like me for me, then forget him. Forget him. I'm not going to I'm not going to date that person because he should really love me for me. And of course a guy should love you for you. Of course a woman should love you for you. That's not the the point. But if you're hiding in your clothes or you're marketing yourself in a frumpy way so that, you know, someone doesn't even notice you or see you like like what was happening to me in my black clothes, He's not even going to get the opportunity to, to see all the wonderful things that you are. And that's really the message, okay? So that, it was super funny because, you know, at the end of my speech, I asked the audience, I said, all right, let's come clean. How many of you, like, first of all, what were you thinking when I went on stage? And all the hands go up and everything. This one woman calls out and she said, I'm going to be honest, Kim. I almost walked out and I was thinking, what the heck is she doing talking to me about image when she looks this way? And everyone laughed. And so, yeah, first impressions matter. Do you know? Okay, here's a little research. I'm always going to kind of throw out research tips because I just think it's interesting. Do you know it only takes seven seconds to make a first impression? Seven seconds. That's all you got. So like when you all logged on, you, you had a, a judgment and assumption based on how I looked. And here's the two things that fire in the brain when you're making a first impression. It is the clothes that you wear and the attitude that you have. So that includes your, your facial expressions. It includes, you know, the, the body language that you have because that that fires out the signals of the messages of who you are, your moods, and that kind of thing. I cannot tell you how many times I, I will see people out and about and they have frowns on their face and now we have the masks, so people are avoiding looking at each other. Like just because we have masks on people doesn't mean we can't join eyes. It, can't, it doesn't mean that we can't smile in our eyes because that's what connects us all. And if we're avoiding and we're hiding, we're not going to connect. If we're avoiding and we're hiding, we are not 
going to connect with each other. And then we're going to continue to stay in our like COVID attitude, sadly, hiding behind screens. And, and I don't want that for all of you. I want, I want you to give yourself opportunity to be seen and to feel good about yourself. So style intelligence is super important part of the charisma quotient. That's what we're going to focus on today with feeling and looking red hot for Valentine's Day. So for those of you who are just joining, again, my name is Kimmy Seltzer. I'm a confidence therapist and an authentic dating strategist and an image consultant. And I kind of throw it all together and do a holistic approach in helping you all look and feel your best so you attract love. Because I also used to be a matchmaker. I want to say that too. And, I, and it was fun and I, I think I help people. But now I really enjoy teaching people to be their own matchmaker. You know, I think it takes a village and I do think that it takes that inner work, the outer work and opportunity to meet other people in order to get what you want. It's like, this is my philosophy, it's like building out your dating portfolio just like your financial portfolio. You have to diversify as much as possible to get the results. You do. You can't just bank and put everything into one thing. Like you can't just do online dating. You can't just rely on like your married folks to set you up. By the way, for any married people out there, you know, there's a lot of singles here. If you know a fabulous person, set the sister up, set the brother up. I think a lot of times people forget, you know, but at the same time, if you're single, put yourself out there. Tell your married friends, tell everybody that you're single and that you're looking to mingle because that's what, that's what this is all about. It's about networking. And that's why Am this Amazon Live and Sway TV, you guys are brilliant because this is about connection. I see so many people logging on here. Oh my gosh, we have an amazing crowd here. Who is here? I want to see, say hello if you haven't said hello already. By you, but if you're trying to figure out how to say hello, you got to click the follow button. If you're on a laptop, you got to click the follow button that you see. If you're in the mobile, you have to click the video and then a follow button will pop up and then you click follow. And by doing that, you will enter. Oh, Michael's here. Awesome. Good to see you. I Wait, okay, I'm so surprised to see so many men in the house. Men, I love you. It is so great to have you here. And even though I'm going to share a lot of women products, you are getting the inside scoop into the way of the hearts of women. <laughs> so you got the inside scoop. You got the secret. OK, so I talked about style intelligence as being the first ingredient to the charisma quotient. The second ingredient, and this is where I'm going to talk a lot about the insight. As you can hear, I am a therapist. So I do do a lot of motivational talk around how to feel better, how to express yourself. And so I raise your emotional intelligence. I do a ton of work around expression, vulnerability, authenticity, because again, that's what connects people. When you're not your authentic, Self, when you're not in your vulnerability, you're not giving your chance to really connect with people. As you heard in my story, like I, I couldn't just come on here and say, hi, I'm Kimmy Seltzer and I'm a dating coach and blah, blah, blah. Like that's all great and fun and dandy, but it's my story that you're going to remember. Believe me. We remember each other by our stories through our vulnerabilities and that's what allows us to connect. And so people who work with me know that raising your emotional intelligence is the key to connection. It's the key to really having an emotional connection with somebody. So that's the second ingredient. The third ingredient is dun, 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 social intelligence. It is raising your social intelligence. Oh, Cynthia, hello, hello. I don't have my pen. Andy, I hope you're entering all these people who are following because I am so excited. Wait, we have 30 minutes till our live giveaway. How did this time go by so fast? I got to get to it, people. OK, we have everyone entered. That is awesome. So our social intelligence has to do with the way we interact with the world. It's the way that we that we flirt. It's the way that we communicate with one another. I do a lot of work on communication. And yes, that has to do with how you DM each other on Bumble. It's how you <laughs> interact on texting. Do you, know, do you know that I spend sometimes a whole session, a whole hour, 
with people in their Bumble account looking at how you are having conversations with each other. And you know that sometimes these conversations fall flat simply because you're not flirting. You're not having a conversation and you're not connecting with that person. So that's a big part of my coaching, in fact. And so those are the three ingredients, your style, your emotional and social intelligence, and that all has to do with your charisma. And I love the word charisma. Charisma is sexy. Charisma is energy. Charisma is magnetism. And it's just, it's, it's a word, it's a, um, an energy that just draws people to you. So when you feel magnetic, that is when people are drawn to you. So with that being said, I want to show some live makeovers. Andy, can we show some of the makeovers on the screen? And what you're about to see are people that I have worked with. Some people might even be on here. If you're on here, you um, better say hello <laughs> and you know who you are. And when you see them, you can definitely get a feel for how they were feeling in the before picture versus how they were in the after picture. So Andy, if you're there, I would love to see the before and after pictures. And he might be on a commercial break and that's totally fine. So maybe what I can do in the meantime, yeah, oh, he's, he's back. Yes. So, um, what you're about to see, and I don't, I, I didn't realize that <laughs> we're almost at the point of the giveaway. We have 26, 26 minutes and counting. Oh, I have time. Okay, good, good, good. This, can I tell you, this is so much more pleasurable having the time to talk to all of you. Because you know, like when you do Instagram stories, like you only have like 30 seconds and whatnot. I have such a hard time with this. So this, this, this is so fun for me. Okay, so you see on the screen, my before and after pictures of these are real people who had real transformations and wanted to share with you those transformations because their life has changed. Now, here's the thing that, oh, we have Amazon customer started following. I love Amazon customers. Hello, I'm an Amazon customer. I, honestly, I'm finding myself not even going to any other site anymore because it is a one-stop shop to find everything from like really amazing brands to, you know, things like, like the ice maker. My ice maker broke, I was telling everyone before, and I got a part on Amazon. I love it. Okay, so here, here's the thing. What you see in the makeovers and you notice in the pictures and the before pictures, they're all beautiful women. There is nothing like that you could say about these women. However, what they all had in common is that they didn't see themselves as beautiful. And that, that is what we we're talking about. Like when I was in my frumpy mom stage, I did not think I was beautiful. And therefore I walked through the world not feeling beautiful. So guess what? I wasn't really attracting anything. And that's what happened to these women. And as you notice in, in, you know, just kind of celebration of Valentine's Day, you see a lot of red dress moments here. Like in the after pictures, they're all wearing red and or pink, as you see in one shot. But let's, let's start with the woman. Um, I don't know how you're seeing it, but you'll see this gorgeous model over here. And actually, her story is fantastic where she has her hand on her red dress and she's swaying. <laughs> she's swaying on Sway TV in her red dress, smiling, um, which is such a different stance than what she was in the before picture. Now, one of the things that was, yeah, it's such an incredible change. And the natural look is great too. Yeah, don't get me wrong. And by the way, People have this misunderstanding that natural's not sexy or beautiful. Uh, 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 uh. Natural is gorgeous. Natural is beautiful. But that doesn't mean frumpy. <laughs> Casual doesn't equate frumpy. And I just find that a lot of times when you're not in a good state, especially like here in the pandemic, we've all been like cooped up in our cocoon. How many people have not like showered in days? Like I. I'll, I'm going to be honest, I, there are days I did not shower because I'm like, 
I don't really need to. I'm not seeing anybody. And then I get to the point where, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm doing it for me, gosh darn it. So this is, this is what I'm saying is that a lot of the things that in the pictures that I show, it had nothing to do with their outer beauty, but it was, it was how they were feeling on the inside. And also they were forecasting something different on the outside. So you see the difference. You see the difference from the after. Now, the big thing that I, I, when I go shopping with people is to really help them learn about their body type. It's so important. I'm kind of very scientific in the way I approach clothes because I don't believe, I'm not this like cookie cutter stylist from LA with blonde hair and blue eyes and say, oh, you must wear this. You look fabulous, darling. Like I, <laughs> and you do look fabulous. But I, I just feel like we're all unique. We all have different bodies. We all have different lifestyles. Like someone who's living in New York is gonna dress differently than somebody who lives in more rural Midwest and you all have different lifestyles, right? So, but the common ground is, is getting things that really flatter your figure. So all of them, I had down, they had to download my style guide. And if you're interested in getting that style guide, you can go and get that at my site, kimmyseltzer.com and just get the guide and you can measure yourself. So one thing that's really important about your body type is it has nothing to do with your weight. It actually has to do with your bone structure. So you're gonna, you measure your, your shoulders and your, your waistline and your hips and that's going to determine what kind of body type you are. Now, if you're a woman, there are five body types. If you're a man, and don't worry, I have a style guide for men too. So men here, I am not leaving you out. I am a little heavily focused on women today because I wanted to do more like beauty products. But I do have a men's style guide too. It's called the Man's Fashion Manifesto because I know you men secretly want to learn about fashion as well. And... It is super important to get a man over for yourself. Yes, I will probably be doing a man over on the show at some point. So here's the thing. When you learn about your body type, you know exactly what flatters you. So when you're, when you're scrolling on Amazon, you're looking at all the beautiful clothes, it's hard to know sometimes exactly what fits you unless you've worked with me, you've had a virtual makeover with me, you know certain brands fit you. And there's some safe cuts that, that definitely will fit your body type really, really well. So I'm gonna show you a couple of ideas for you, but I just wanted to share some of these inspirational makeovers that you see on, on the screen because I wanna give you all inspiration that you all can do this even in the comfort of your own home. Even if you wanted to do a virtual makeover with me, like, let's do it, let's do it. Hit me up, DM me at KimmySeltzer.com and we'll get it done. We knock it out in an hour and I will teach you about your body type. I have this cool software where I actually pin clothes. It's kind of like Pinterest. I pin clothes into your closet and I go on Amazon and I can also pin different like items that I think look really good on you. But let's start with, with items here on Sway TV because I've been building this up and I do want to share some products with you. So actually for fun, Andy, can I drop a bomb? Can I, I, so Andy like dared me to drop one of these bath bombs. And I think just to like reset and, and go into product mode, I wanna, I wanna drop a bomb, a love bomb. Now, <laughs> I don't want you men out there love bombing us women. That's not what this is. This is called a bath bomb. Oh my God, this smells so good. Oh my God, I'm obsessed already. Life, life around Zangles. Ooh, this is in the carousel, I believe, right, Andy? Okay, so if you can see, I'm going to drop, this is, this is like the, a better love bomb that I'm dropping. This is not like the bad love bomb. And by the way, if you don't know what a love bombing is, that means like you go in really strong and you woo a woman or a man. By the way, I think women can love bomb too. You love them and then you leave them. So you, you bomb them and then, and then they're gone. <laughs> okay, so ready? I'm going to put it in. Poof. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh, I 
I love this. It's just like sizzling. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Do you like my um, red nail polish? I was so excited. The salons opened here in LA. It was like the first thing I did to self-care. And as I'm doing this, it smells so good. Oh my gosh. So I, 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 thought, I thought that was a good way to set the tone and the smell, get into our senses as we talk about different products because that that is, that's what's going to help us all. Okay, now, I, I think I want to start out with a red dress moment. And so I'm going to scroll and find the red dress in the carousel. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Okay, so let me pull up this. Now this red dress, can you all see it? There it is. The reason why I like this red dress is because I tried to pick out something that would work with a lot of different body types. Because I'm going to show some elements on here that tends to work no matter what body type you are. Now, obviously, this is this is catering to women, I'm sure. <laughs> By the way, men only have three body types, so it's, it is different. Men, this does not pertain to you. Do not try this at home. Although, yeah, you, you could. You could. Why not? Come on. It's Valentine's Day. Um, if you notice, the collar is what we call a V-neck. And a V-neck is one of the most flattering styles for any body type that is out there. And when you have the V-neck, the reason why it's so flattering is because it, it actually has a, um, like it'll, it'll show the bosom really nice. And if you have a bigger bosom or a smaller bosom, it doesn't matter. It really just flatters this part of a woman. And also, like, you know, it's winter, so the longer sleeves really works. Um, this is a different kind of red, too. It's more of almost, I would say, like a, a has like a wine color, or I'd call this, um, depending on how it is viewed, you know, in your screen. Every screen is different, but this kind of red is flattering for also a lot of different skin tones, because here's the thing. When you buy something red, make sure it's a red that flatters your skin tone because there are some that will not look good on your skin tone. For instance, like I have kind of a berry red. It has more of a blue tone in it. And I know this red flatters my skin tone. But if I were to put a red orange, that isn't so good for me because it has a little bit of yellow in it and that'll make me look sickly. And I don't want to look sickly here on Sway TV. <laughs> so... This is a style that I think is just beautiful. And you see also it has a waistline. And no matter what body type you are, you always want to achieve a silhouette that looks even where you have like a cinched waist that really emphasizes that. Because we have five different body types. We have an hourglass, we have inverted triangle, we have triangle, we have a rectangle, and we have a diamond. And, no, and if you want to know what those body types are, you go to my site, KimmySeltzer.com, and you, you download the style guide. But again, no matter what you are, you can hop here on Amazon and be, be assured that this kind of style is going to work for you. I guarantee you. Now, this may not be your style, meaning you don't like the dress, so that's totally cool. But I was trying to pick out something that was pretty classic and classy, and I don't think many men would turn you away in a dress, so here's the thing. And men chime in. Ooh, Charles says, ooh la la. I like it, price isn't too bad either. Yeah, and so this is a Ralph Lauren dress, and I love Ralph Lauren. And the reason why I love Ralph is he doesn't break the bank. You can find him here on Amazon. He is very easy to travel with, actually. And so he uses a lot of materials that don't tend to wrinkle. You don't have to bring it to the dry cleaner. You can throw it in the suitcase. If you go to, you know, if you're dating somebody, you can throw it into your overnight bag and voila, you can show up in your, you know, jeans and then change and slip into this little cute red dress in the nighttime and have your little Valentine's dinner. And by the way, oh, by the way, do you know we have Galentine's Day coming up? I don't want to ignore Galentine's Day. I, I think that's super cute that we have that. And I believe it is the day before Valentine's. Do you all know that? I think it's the 13th. Correct me if I'm wrong, but February 13th is Galentine's Day. So if you're just celebrating with your girlfriends, if you're just, if you're celebrating with someone special, if it's a new date, 
if it's if it's just celebrating you do it do it get all dressed up just for you have fun with you i'll never you know i was on a show um a couple years ago called the romance if anyone is here from the romance hello it's been a long time i miss you all we shot it in san diego and we shot um, a whole scene in this mansion down in Temecula. And it was so funny because I was the only one that didn't live that close by because I was coming from LA and I had a chance to stay in this entire mansion by myself. And at first I was going to go home and I was going to say, I don't want to stay here by myself. And then I was thinking, oh my God, I can stay here by myself. <laughs> and so I had so much fun. I, I like... I stayed in my clothes, I took a bath. I didn't have this like cool love bomb stuff, but I did have a lot of candles. I lit the candles, I ordered sushi. I had, I had fun. I think I put some wine in the, in, in the glass. And, and so again, Valentine's Day, all of you, is celebrating you. I hope you're getting that. And so when you have a little red dress like this, um, it, it's, it's great. And by the way, this material, is super super comfortable if you notice that um, it is made of oh my god I don't have my glasses I, th I think it's made of like a polyester yeah 95% polyester and elastane that's that's a, a very fancy way of saying it won't wrinkle <laughs> so I definitely would have you know you, you should definitely check it out okay so that is the little red dress moment that you all can have Okay, let me go back to some more products I want to share with you in my carousel. So, and what would a dress be without some heels? Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so where are my heels? Oh, here we are. Okay, now in the picture, it's going to show a different color heel. And they all come in different colors, but here we go. And here's the black heel. So these are... Stuart Weitzman, oh my God, and they're called the One Strap, and I recommend these to all my clients. This is another style that works for a lot of different body types, and this is something that is super sexy. It is super, if you can see, I'm going to hold it to the camera. Can you see that? It's super sexy. It's um, not only does it give you a little lift, but it also, it also is comfortable. And I know that's one of the biggest gripes that all my ladies say is that I can't wear heels. How many people, how many people have, you know, trouble with their feet and they don't wear heels because you have a bunion or maybe, you know, you have feet problems. I definitely have had foot problems. I also have back problems. What I love about this chunky heel it, this style is so comfortable and it really gives you a lot of support. And Stuart Weitzman really makes a great shoe. And I could not believe that this shoe is on Amazon. And I'm going to show you another Stuart Weitzman boot that I am actually wearing. You can't see it yet, but I'm drum roll. <laughs> I'm about to, I'm going to show you in a little bit when I talk about casual wear. Um, I love, I love that shoe. Um, this one happens to be suede and, and yes, it's in my carousel. So you can click on the carousel and see that the link will go right to you. Now I have, I have narrow feet. I don't know what kind of feet you have, but the real good thing about that one strap is that it even fits a wide foot as well. Because I find that if you have a bunion, it, it, it can really like fall right in front of the bunion, if that makes sense. So it, it's comfortable. And, you know, I speak a lot and I stand, when I was speaking back in the day, I mean, I, I can stand for hours and when I'm networking and different events, and I could stand in these heels for hours. So that says something. So I definitely encourage you. And also what's really good, going back to the body type about that style, is that it opens up your legs. So if you are 5'3 and under, you are considered petite. 
And when you're petite, you definitely want to open up that leg so that it elongates your look and elongates your leg. And you do that by having an open toe. You wanna avoid the closed toe. I know it's winter for a lot of you and you're in snowy places. So I can already hear some of you saying, but Kim, I'm in a really cold place. I'm not putting anything like that on my foot. <laughs> and with that, I will say two things. Number one, if you are working on an online profile and you're trying to get a couple shots of you in a sexy look, do it. Wear a heel. One of the things, actually there's two things that guys tell me that are sexy in a woman and that is a woman in a heel and a woman in a dress. Men, am I wrong? Tell me I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, then like I want to hear you, but most men, and I've been doing this a long time, I do a lot of webinars, I give flirt workshops all the time. It's the universal thing they all tell me. They all love women in heels. And here's the thing, when you're wearing a heel, do you notice that there's that little definition that goes on in the calf? There's a little lift in you know, your posture. You kind of sway. Don't you love how I've been able to incorporate sway in my conversation? You can sway on Sway TV in that heel because your posture is up more. You're more upright and that's sexier. That has to do with your body language. Remember, the two things that are really important in a first impression is your body language and also what you're wearing. So that's why heels are super sexy. Yeah. Um, Oh, John, you're spot on. Yeah, because it, it's, it's, it's super important. Oh my God, there's so many people interacting and I love this. Charles says, not wrong. Good, I'm so glad I, I learned something after 15 years of doing this. So ladies, my point is, is if you're working on your online profile, have a shot of you in a heel, in a dress, it'll capture a guy every single time. And wear red. We are talking about red, we're talking about Valentine's Day. Wear red because research shows that men will stop at a profile picture of a woman in red. There's been studies on this. There's research that have done, been done on this. In fact, they had a study where 100 men were shown a picture of the same woman in two different looks. One was in a blue dress, one was in a red dress. Do you know 100% of 100 men clicked on the woman in the red dress, even though it was the same woman, right? So why wouldn't you get something red? Why wouldn't you like go in my carousel, go on Amazon, look for something that is red. It doesn't have to break the bank. Yes, I'm showing some you know, items that might be a little more expensive, but I also wanna show things that will break the bank either that are budget friendly that you can do right now. Which brings me to another item that I wanna show. So um, I'm gonna show some casual wear. So I don't know about some of you, but I've been living in leggings. Ladies, are you living in leggings? Oh, 15 minutes to our live draw. I have so much more to share. Thank goodness that I'm gonna have another show because I, I didn't realize how much content I have for all of you. And I'm, I'm so excited to be sharing it here on Sway TV. If you're just joining me, this is Kimmy's Love Hub here on Sway TV, Amazon Live. And it's just, we've been having a lot of fun. I did some a live love bomb, not, not the real love bomb, but with some bath. Um, so, oh, it still smells. It smells so good in here. I'm gonna have to get this. Okay. Um, so maybe some of you are looking at this. It's like, yeah, Kim, so you talked about the red dress moment and you're talking about heels, but I am, living in leggings these days and I don't want to put on a red dress every day <laughs> to feel sexy and that's the beauty actually about today is that most of us are doing zoom dates and you should be doing zoom dates by the way that's something I teach all my clients to do is to build emotional connection online have a couple video dates whether it's on the app or on zoom do something where you're meeting on video and you gotta you gotta learn how to give good Zoom, people. That's been a big talk. Not a lot of you are being mindful of how you come across on that screen. And so the good news about this is that you only have to worry about how you look from the waist up. 
So let's talk about a really cute top that you could wear on a Zoom date that's still casual, but still kind of fun. Um, this is a brand. I'm going to push the red one because we're all about red today. This is multicolors, red and pink. This is another style that I think is super cute. Um, this brand is called Bailey 44. And what I like about Bailey 44, she tends to design a lot of cuts that really work well on body type, different body types because she's very mindful of the waist. She has a lot of V-necks. It's a little bit more form-fitting tops. And yeah, oh, somebody finally made it. Deirdre, oh, mwah, mwah, mwah. I'm glad you're here too. There are so many amazing people in my tribe. Yeah, somebody said, Kim, oh, Sam, Kimmy, leggings, life. Yeah, and I'm gonna share with you a really sexy legging too. Because again, like I said before, casual doesn't mean frumpy. Being in your uh, COVID clothing can still look super sexy at the same time. Um, and, and this top is one of them. So I definitely encourage you here on Amazon, I was surprised to find so many Bailey 44 tops and designs. This is one of my fave. This is also something that would show up really well on a Zoom date in the camera, but also in person. And it's long sleeves to keep us warm. Um, and it's also made of 100% polyester. What I like about that is it's wrinkle free. I, you know, can we just talk about one of the trends that I think I'm seeing in everyone's style these days is it's all about comfort and it's all about ease. I don't know about you, but I want ease. I want things to be easy. I want to be able to get ready really quickly when I do have a Zoom conference, when I'm coming on to Sway TV and getting ready. Like, I didn't have that makeup artist come. I didn't have the hairstylist come. I got ready for me. And, oh, Charles. <laughs> He has he has a little puppy dog. Oh, you know, that's the other thing that's cool on here. There's little icons that you can can click on here. Um, so I like polyester because it doesn't wrinkle. You don't have to get it dry cleaned. It's super easy to keep. And so you'll look fabulous in it. Okay, so that's the top. Let me show you the sassy, sexy leggings. Oh, where did I go? Okay. I am, wait for it. Andy, I feel like we need drum rolls to like fill the space, okay. Um, okay, these have been a big, big hit. It's the Spanx faux leather leggings. All right, men, are these hot or what? And ladies, these are so comfortable. Like you could wear these on a Zoom date and then go out to the grocery store and you will look hot, 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 red hot with your red top and your little leggings. You know what I love wearing these leggings with? Actually, a, a cozy sweater. So if you're on the East Coast, you're in the Midwest, you have to wear those big bulky sweaters, you still have something sexy going on as you're going to the market. And guess what? Guess what? There are people of the opposite sex at the market. Just FYI, newsflash. They're everywhere. <laughs> we are forgetting. We're forgetting to connect with each other. Like We're at the market and we have our masks on, but we're forgetting that there are people like right next to us. We can still say hello. We can still wear our sexy leggings. I was at the market, God, when was it? A couple of weeks ago. And it was so nice. A guy just came up to me and we started talking. And we started talking about eggs. It was nothing, you know, huge. And it, it all starts with the eggs. You know, it doesn't matter. But let me tell you, these leggings are not only super sexy, but they're so comfortable. They make every body type look amazing, feel amazing. They hold you in, they hold in the butt, they hold in the stomach, and those are the problematic areas for a lot of us women. And so, yeah, they're, they're super cute. I encourage you to definitely check those out. And I was, again, so excited to see this on Amazon. I cannot believe, ooh, we have nine minutes, almost nine minutes till I am picking a winner for the giveaway. The giveaway is a $100 gift certificate here on Amazon. So you can buy some of these goodies. Um, 
Now, the great thing about leggings, so let's talk about the shoes. Yeah, you could wear the Stuart Weitzman heels with it and that would be sexy. However, I think we all wanna be a little more comfortable, bring it down a little bit and you can still be sexy. I wanna show you a product of a shoe. Now these are Stuart Weitzman. I, I, I happen to love Stewie, Stuart, because it fits my narrow foot really well and they're very comfortable and they last a long time. These are the women's 50-50 over the knee booty. Now I have them on and I can show you, I don't know if you can see, can you see? I'm showing my boots, yeah. So I have them on and I'm so, I'm so comfortable in them and I feel like that they are, they're like, they're like butter. <laughs> They're, they actually conform to your leg and it's really good to wear a legging with the booty because the jeans, the problem with jeans, especially if you have a little give in the ankle, then they start wrinkling and then you get like elephant leg on the leg. It's not a sexy look. Ladies and gents, I will say, the biggest mistake that I see a lot of people, I will just say people in general make, is that their jeans are too big on them. Make sure that your jeans and your leggings conform to your body type because you are gonna look longer, leaner, sexier, and sleeker, I promise. This is one of the big tricks that I tell everyone. Oh, seven minutes to our Kimmy's Love Hub celebratory $100 gift certificate on Amazon. I am about to give it away. Cindy is following. Corey says, I get dressed up to go to the market now too. <laughs> That's because you came, you know the drill, you came to my flirt challenge. And so these were just some of the tricks that I teach my people. Um, and again, it all starts with some of this outside stuff and people are getting crazy results already just based on the products that they're buying, the things that they're putting on their body. Because at the end of the day, what's really happening here is that people are learning to love themselves. We are here on Sway TV, here at Kimmy's Love Hub to celebrate you. That's what we're here to do. We are celebrating you because when you love you, that's when other people will love you too. And remember, everyone stay tuned to Sway TV at 5 p.m. Pacific time where you have also entered a huge, ginormous giveaway of a PS5. So if you have any teenagers who want a PS5, I'm just saying, you know, you don't have to be a teenager. You could be an adult and want a PS5. I am still trying to figure it out. My sons are trying to teach me and I'm, I'm learning, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah, self-love is so important and you'll see that th this is my message throughout the entire time. All right, so we got the clothes. Right? Now I want to do some beauty tips as we wait for the countdown. We have five minutes, five more minutes. Oh my God, it's getting so exciting. I can't stand it. And I still smell all this beautiful essence from the Love Bomb. Um, oh, by the way, just really quickly, you can see it in my carousel. I'm just going to show you quickly because not everybody has like long legs that like tall boots work for. So an option is these little booties. I love these from Mark Fisher. I just, I'm going to, I got to put this in front. I just bought these. They're so comfortable. Oh my God. And you notice the pointy toe is very flattering and it can elongate anyone who has a shorter leg. So if you have a shorter leg, you are five, three and under, you definitely wanna get a ankle boot because that ankle boot is gonna elongate your legs. Okay, let's do another, ooh, I know what I wanna show. Okay, so I wonder if I have it here. I thought I brought it. Please tell me I bought it. Yes, I did. Okay, now I wouldn't recommend I wouldn't really recommend this um, with the color that I'm wearing, but I love red lipstick. So if you're saying, Kimmy, I don't think I can wear a red top. Kimmy, I don't think I'm ready for that red dress. It's way too loud. I live in New York and I just like wearing black. <laughs> Anyone from New York, by the way? Anyone from New York? Oh yeah, those bo booties were super cute. Um, there is a way that you can infuse a little color, a little red in your life, and that is 
with a lipstick. Now, I, I happen to love MAC, and yes, you can get MAC here on Amazon Live, um, Amazon here. And this particular color is um, Give Me Fever. It is a really nice red. I'm going to hold this up. I don't know if you can see. Here we go. Now, I can't, oh my gosh, Andy, this is such a thin thing. If you guys can see this in the camera, um, not every red looks good on everybody, but what's really nice about um, red is that you get noticed. And so even what I like doing is if I'm wearing all neutral, and I'm definitely not wearing all neutral, so again, don't try this at home. If you are wearing a red blouse, I do not recommend putting on a red lip. If you noticed before I had more of a nude lip, right now I probably have nothing on because I've been talking for an hour and a half. Um, oh my God, I'm losing my voice. Um, yeah, so what's nice about a red lip is that it really makes you pop and, and a lot of people will find you attractive. Here, I'm gonna do a little bit. I'll give you a little kiss. I have a story about uh, red lipstick. We are almost about to do the draw. Oh, thank you, Nancy, for the selection. I, I have more, but I'm gonna save it probably for the next show. I wanted to just do some red stuff. You know, the great thing about the red lips is, um, I remember a woman, she came to me for dating advice. She said, Kim, I wanna learn how to flirt and capture a, a man's eye. And I said, great. And she shows up. And what she was wearing was something where <laughs> it was horrendous. Let's just say that. She was hiding. She was in this. Not only was she in black clothes, but she had wrapped herself around her, her body in a shawl. Talk about cocoon. This woman was completely love shielding herself. I call these black clothes, these scarves, um, you know, just kind of hiding a love shield because she in reality was scared. She was scared of men noticing her, but she didn't realize that the clothes she was wearing was really acting as that love shield. So I said, look, I want you to just get a red lipstick and start there. You don't have to get any new clothes, but start there. She's like, Kim, why would I have a red lipstick? And then, um, yeah, why would I have a red lipstick and not get new clothes, but I just want to learn how to talk to the guys. And I said, well, you, trust me, just trust me on this. We will go slow, but I want you to start with this, just with this little thing. So she gets a red lipstick and she goes out into the world and she comes back a week later and she says, oh my gosh, Kimmy, that magic red bullet. I said, what happened? She said, I cannot believe how that worked. I said, well, what happened? She said, well, I wore this red lip and I went into Uber. I went to the train station. I, I, and all these guys started chatting with me. I said, really? <laughs> so what happened after this? She said, well, amazingly, then I started chatting back. And she said, I can't believe that it gave me the confidence for them to notice me so that I would have the confidence to chat with them back. And it was so super empowering. And we have seven, six, five, four seconds between. Oh my God, we're about to the giveaway. One, ah, the crowd goes wild. It is time for the giveaway. I was stalling here with my red lips. Okay, so now here's the thing about the winner. You have got to be on here live with me you have to be live with me in order to win so when i pick a name i'm going to draw from the bucket i'm going to say your name and we're going to give you what do we give two minutes until then they can get the gift certificate oh my gosh oh my gosh I can't, you know, who won? I love, I love, it's a man. I'm just going to say it's a man who won. Ready? Paul! Paul, are you here? Paul wins the Amazon. Are you here? Dun, 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 dun. You have two minutes to say hello if you are here. I got to put my, my head on. Okay. 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, sadly, nobody can see the lipstick behind the mandatory mask these days, but they can see it on the Zoom date. They can see it in other ways. They can see it from a distance, but more importantly, you can see it on you. Because I'm not going to lie, I'm looking into kind of the camera right now, and it's kind of fun. It's lifting me up to have red lipstick on. And what's great about this MAC lipstick is that it's smooth, it's creamy, but it doesn't dry my lips, so it's staying on. How does it look, by the way? Is it clashing with my red? I hope so. So is Paul here? Is Paul here? Where is Paul? Wah, wah. Okay, how many more minutes do we have? One more minute until Paul. Okay, he's going to lose out, which means if Paul doesn't show up, that means I'm drawing another name, people. And so those of you who stayed on this entire time, and I see who you are, Sharon and Corey and Karen. Oh, thank you. Yeah, OK. And so Paul, are you here? No, we're not here. OK, so are we going to just toss Paul? <laughs> OK, so I am going to draw another person because Paul lost out and I'm going to close my eyes okay I'm not going to cheat Andy's on me like he thinks I'm going to cheat okay okay Dun -dun -dun -dun. should I not look should I just show and okay the big reveal maybe you guys can see it before me can anyone see I can't is it Dun -dun -dun. <gasps> Kelly I can see it in the camera it's Kelly Kelly are you there Kelly, are you there? Can you hear me talk about us? Kelly, are you there? And the crowd goes wild. Where is Kelly? <laughs> How did I pick two people who are not on already? Congrats, Kelly. So do we still give two minutes for Kelly to show? OK, I'm giving you two minutes. Maybe she, I know. Kelly went to the bathroom to put on her red lips. I know it. <laughs> I know it because she wanted to look and oh, Kelly's here! Yay! Okay, why do we not have music? Why do we not have music? Celebrate good times, come on! Oh my gosh. So you won a $100 gift certificate on Amazon. I am so excited for you. Thank you for staying on, hanging on here at Kimmy's Love Hub. And there's more love for all of you to go around because I'm, I'm planning on coming back. Is that OK? Are you, are you all with me? Are you guys going to come back and, and cheer me on? Every time I will have something new for you, I promise. I know I did a lot of talking today, but I just felt like chatting with you. Next time, next time, yes, email your info to hello at shopswaytv.com just so that you get your Amazon ticket and, um, or ticket, <laughs> your gift certificate, I should say. I am just, like, I, I want to do this all the time for you. I, I had so much fun. I cannot believe this time flew by, just flew by. And I think it's because I'm so passionate about what I talk about. I'm so passionate about helping all of you. And again, this show is only as good as you are here, as you all are with me and interact with me. Please, please, if you have other ideas, what you want me to do and bring to you in ways of the show, if you want some dating questions answered, I, I do want an opportunity and a space and time to answer some of your dating questions. So whether you wanna do it here live with me, I prefer that, but if you don't have time and you wanna watch the replay and you wanna DM me at Kimmy Seltzer on Instagram, that is totally fine. I will, I will bring your questions to you. And if you miss it, don't worry, you can go to swaytvreplay.com and I think it lives here for about two days, right, Andy? Two days is what we got. You can also go to swaytvshop.com and that's where you can discover a lot of the items that I shared with you that's in my carousel where you can click right on there and purchase that. Um, but really, 
just, you know, browse. We have so many amazing products. I didn't even get to half of them. Um, one thing I, I will say, um, just because it, it pertains to how I got here, I do want to share one more product, Andy. Is that okay as we close out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's something that I know, and I didn't even know this before I came here, and I was talking to him, and I said, there is something I want to promote, but I, my fingers are not working well. I think I'm so hot in here. Okay. This, this product I'm obsessed with because when Andy asked me, like, you know, oh, are you the kind of girl that does your own hair and makeup? I said, well, yeah, I do, and I'm so used to it because I go live all the time on social media. But I was thinking, oh, my gosh, I'm going on Sway TV. I need to do my own. I, I need to get my hair done and all that. He's like, nah, just do what you normally do. And this is what I normally do. I love this product. This is a Revlon one-step hair dryer and volumizer. I can't say that word. So it's all in one. Basically, it'll dry your hair and straighten it at the same time. So I have naturally frizzy and curly hair. And what I do to get ready is I will first dry it by using this. So I'm going to hold this up. I have it here in the studio, if you can see it. And it's so cool. You turn it on and you just, you just sway with it. <laughs> I don't know how I'm finding ways to incorporate sway. Andy, I'm such a ham. Okay. So when, when you straighten your hair, that takes the frizzies out. Then I use another product, which I want to share with you. And I'm just finishing out your love makeover here with this new curling iron. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. And it's called the Baby Bliss Pro. I was using a lot of other curling irons before, but it wasn't until I found this that my life changed because it heats up so fast. It's titanium, so it's really gentle on the hair, and it doesn't fray my hair. I was finding that the old curling irons were really like causing damage on my hair. So I will use the Revlon um, hair dryer all in one to straighten it and then I put a little curl into it by using this and I like the one and a half inch barrel a lot because it's a good way of doing like soft curls so that's how I created my soft curls today I wanted to put a little romanticism in my hair in celebration of Valentine's Day but really what we're talking about everybody is celebrating you and I will end with a book as we talk about because I always want to recommend a good book I focused a lot on style today but I want to leave you with some good um, with some good uh, feelings that we're having and that is a book it's called why men love bitches <laughs> okay so it's not about being a bitch ladies it's about setting boundaries. It's about really showing up for you. Because it, it, I want to end the show as I began. Kimmy's Love Hub is all about loving yourself. Because when you love you, that is when other people will too. And when you learn to love yourself and you treat yourself as the queen that you are, when you, when you date like a queen, that's what this book is about. It's Why Men Love Bitches by Sherry Argov. And Sherry, if you're out there, I, I recommend this to all my clients and anyone out there who wants to put you first. Honestly, men, I think you would like this too. I know it's catered to women, but really, it's, it's to celebrate you. And I am just so blessed and, and honored to be the host of Kimmy's Love Hub. I plan on doing this weekly. Please, please, Share with me any thoughts that you have. Interact with me. Press the follow button. I will be here um, sharing dating, relating, perhaps mating <laughs> um, tips every single time. I plan on bringing on people here live so I can do some interviews, do some live Q&A. Hit me up at Kimmy Seltzer on social media. DM me. And most importantly, follow SwayTVLive.com. And thank you so much for joining me. And I think, don't we end with a let's sway, Andy? Yeah. <laughs> let's sway. I'll see you next week. Bye. Make sure
sure you guys follow Sway TV. Follow Sway right here. Oop, it's this way, sorry. <laughs> Corey says, thank you, Sway TV. Shakira says, thank you, Sway. Yes, guys, it is so much fun. We love Sway TV. So grateful for you guys and for Sway TV. We'll see you soon. Until then, let's sway. 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 Let's sway.